Alright, we're going to do a review on the Asus Vivo Tab. Um, this particular model is the ME400C-C1. Um, it's got 64 gigs of storage. It's a 10.1 inch tablet. 2 gigs of RAM. And it runs using the Atom, the Intel Atom, 1.8 gigahertz processor. This is the box that it will come in. And this is the tablet. Um, let me show it first to you without the screen cover. So here you have the 10.1 inch screen, the front facing camera, the start button. Uh, one quick observation I will make is the start button here is touch sensitive. Um, there is a power button here at the top to turn it on and off. Um, but the start button does also turn the tablet on. So you just have to be careful, you know, that you're not constantly bumping up against this, touching it. Again, if you get the cover, that's not going to be an issue at all. Let's go around some of the ports on it. Uh, nothing on the bottom. On the bottom left, you have a micro USB, which for a couple bucks on Newegg or Amazon, uh, you can pick up an adapter for that, so you can adapt it into a full USB plug. Right above that, you have the expandable micro SD slot. You can expand it up to 64 gigs of storage. Here you have the on the top the uh, power button. And over here you have the headphone jack and toggle for sound. And then the Asus logo on the back and just a couple stickers there. So here's the uh, tablet. Um, screen is extremely responsive. Um, no complaints with it there. Um, it does, you can also get the uh, screen cover add-on for it. i to show that to you here. Uh, it's about a $50 charge to get the, um, the Asus trans sleeve. It snaps on magnetically there to the bottom. And this works really well. Um, you can also use this stand, this cover as a stand. Just fold in the two ends, flip it around, fold in the two ends, lean it back. The weight specs, um, I don't have the exact weight on it, um, I haven't actually found it, but um, it is extremely light, um, there's definitely no issue holding it with just two fingers. Um, had some people comment saying it even feels lighter than an iPad um, and the advantage of the uh, Asus Vivo tab with full Windows 8 is that you're getting a full um, operating system so there's no limitations um, except for maybe performance of what you can do with this um, as far as gaming goes it does fine with any kind of uh, app store game um, it does struggle a little bit with any kind of um, you know 3D um, intensive game. Overall, great tablet. Um, I think it can uh, truly be a laptop replacement. Um, one thing about when you get the uh, stand, um, one thing I like about it is once you get it locked into place, uh, it's, it's very sturdy. Um, I can hold this just by the stand, hold it with one hand, so it sits extremely well on your lap. Uh, one thing I will note with this case is there have been some reports of the magnets either being backwards in this, the uh, cover, or in the tablet itself. Uh, this particular one did when it was when it came in and went to snap on. Uh, it was actually snapping on backwards here. So instead of the curved side being on the tablet, the curved side was facing out. Um, so if you know what you're doing, um, <laughs> you can take the magnets out of 
here, uh, flip them around, and um, you're good to go again. Um, but yeah, this is basically what it looked like. Um, <laughs> it looked like that, um, and the and the cover was on backwards, as you can see, it's completely backwards there. So flipping those magnets around lets you then hook it on the right way. So overall, great tablet. Um, I would recommend it um, to anybody looking for a tablet um, outside of an iPad. Um, it does seem to do anything you would need uh, a tablet or a basic laptop to do. And for $500 bucks, um, plus $50 for the cover, maybe you can find it cheaper, um, it is a great deal. I will give two complaints for the tablet. Uh, one being the sound um, on the back. It has, uh, you know, one, the speakers are right here, and you can barely see. Um, right here on the one side, there's a little tiny speaker. Um, there's not speakers on both sides. There are no speakers on the front of the tablet. So as you're, you know, you have it sitting up, um, the sound is all coming out of the back of the tablet. Um, if you turn it all the way up and there's no other um, noise in the room, um, it's not bad, but it is difficult if you're playing um, a video or something in a larger group of people. It may be hard for everybody to hear. Um, the other complaint, <clears throat> I would say, is some of the, when I first got it, I think I've just gotten used to it, um, but the plastic edges here. Um, you know, you have the back of the case, which is um, very nice. And then, um, um, opening something on my tablet there. Uh, you have the back, which is very nice, the screen cover. Um, but if you can see right here between the screen, take this off, between the screen and the back is a little plastic piece that goes all the way around the tablet. And in some places I've found it just seems to be a little sharp. Not really sharp, but just not, not as comfortable. If you're holding it you know, in your hand, you know, after time, you kind of, it just isn't very smooth on the edges there. So that's the, the only two complaints I would have, sound, and if, you know, you're holding it, you know, up in front of you for a long period of time, it could, um, it does make your arms a little bit sore. Um, but again, it's a good price point for a full Windows 8 um, tablet.